Good morning. Today we're going to go for a little bike ride. It is approximately, that's better, it is approximately 9 o'clock in the morning. I think it's the 5th of April 2023. And we're going to take, we, we, no, I'm. I'm going to take you on a, a little bike ride today and show you why. This area where I'm right now, which is the Costa Blanca, is the best place to ride a bike. One of the best places at least. Good morning. So let's start with the infrastructure. So as there's a lot of big roads uh, around Alicante, um, not a lot of traffic goes on the secondary roads. So that's typically where you, uh, where you ride the bike. Uh, the secondary roads are really, really well maintained. Uh, cycling is actually kind of an, uh, a tourist attraction here. And there's a lot of money uh, being earned by uh, tourists going here for cycling, renting bikes, all these kind of things. So, first good thing, infrastructure and road quality. So we're now riding up one of my uh, favorite climbs. It's the climb to Tarbena. Not a lot of people do this. Typically a lot of people go from the other side and take this as a descent because that's the famous, infamous Col de Rats, where a lot of people train 20 minutes, 50 minutes, 10 minutes tests, and they do the, uh, the downhill from here, the descent, I have to say. Doesn't look that tough, when well, it's constant about 6%, 7%, 5%. So in order to get a good cadence of 90, still have to push 230, 240, 250 watts. So we left Tarbena behind and uh, this is the final stretch it's another four kilometers of, uh, of climbing around five percent again pretty pretty good So through the lemon, oranges, amazing smell by the way, uh, we're heading to the Col de Rats, which is most likely the most famous little climb of the region. Should be good six, seven kilometers, average of 5.5% I think. Um, so yeah, let's go. So we started climbing and I will try, I will try to ride up the Col de Rats, about 60-70% of max, 
so at least I can talk a bit uh, and uh, show you this uh, this climb and the road because this is a pure representation of when you go cycling in this region this is what you get weather roads hills and nice views And we're back, 85 kilometers, 1,700 meters of climbing, huh. not too bad. Not too bad for the Saturday morning, so a quick recap. Number one reason why you should come here to ride your bike is the infrastructure. As you have seen, the roads are perfect condition and very, very limited traffic. Number two, the climbs. This is not like Alpe d'Huez or the Mont Ventoux where you go riding and get inclines of 14, 12, 13% with an average of eight and a half. This is all just one level down, which makes it much more easier and therefore more enjoyable and number three the weather you can ride your bike here all year long even from april which is obviously right now november december january february all year long i could name all the months actually but okay anyway that's about it for now a cold beer <laughs> <laughs>